Good afternoon, this is Andres Pineda. I'm an interventional cardiologist at the University of Florida in Jacksonville. Thank you for uh, joining to discuss this case of a mitral and tricuspid valve transcatheter edge to edge repair. I have no disclosures pertinent to this talk. Uh, our patient was an 83 year old female who presented to another institution with worsening distance exertion from class two to four and lower extremity edema for the past two weeks. Her medical history included atrial fibrillation on oral anticoagulation with warfarin, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Her last EF was 35 to 40%, non ischemic cardiomyopathy. Her transthoracic echo in the other institution showed moderate to severe secondary mitral regurgitation and severe tricuspid regurgitation, and she was transferred for possible transcatheter therapy. After a heart team approach and discussion with her surgical colleagues, she was deemed at high risk for surgery and recommended transcatheter therapy. Her transesophageal echocardiogram was done and is shown here. On the left image, we see um, a metasophageal T view with showing severe mitral valve regurgitation with uh, no leaflet calcium a um, main grain of 1.5 was recorded, so basically good anatomy for transcatheter edge to edge repair with the mitral clip. Here on the right panel shows images of TE of the tricuspid valve, which shows severe tricuspid valve regurgitation, <clears throat> no pacemaker leads, and a coaptation gap, which was less than 10 millimeters, which is a good predictor of successful transcatheter um, edge to edge repair on the tricuspid valve. More T pick images here. Here is a mediastophageal view on sure axis of the aortic valve. Here is the tricuspid valve, and as you can see again, severe DR. Here is a transgastric view of the tricuspid valve where the anterior, anterior septal and posterior leaflets of the tricuspid valve can be appreciated. Here is a color uh, Doppler, which shows severe TR coming predominantly from the anterior septal commissure. Again, her, her coaptation gap was less than 10 millimeters, and which was good uh, for tricuspid valve repair with the mitral clip. So in summary, she had good T imaging quality and good anatomy for possible edge to edge repair with the mitral clip off label on the tricuspid valve. She first underwent transcatheter edge to edge mitral valve repair with the mitral clip. We actually implanted two clips. And on the right side, this is a TE image which shows mild to trace residual mitral valve regurgitation after two clips. And on the right side image, there is a TEE 3D view of on FOS, which shows the two clips with good tissue bridge on, from the anterior to posterior mitral valve leaflets. Her grain after the two clips was five millimeters of mercury. At this time, we continue with tricuspid edge to edge repair with the mitral clip off label. And for this, with the current technology, there are several um, maneuvers that have to be made so the clip can be um, can reach the tricuspid valve, including. And the guide has to be rotated 180 degrees, basically flip the guide upside down, and the, guide, and the clip has to be miskid into the guide to be able to reach. Here is a T image uh, by Cable View, which shows um, the clip near the SVC being steered down to the tricuspid valve, and this is the corresponding fluoroscopy view of the same maneuver. more images, intraop images with TE. Here on the right side there, the clip is approaching the tricuspid valve here. And we have ex explained from this metasophageal axis view of the aortic valve, we explain across the anterior leaflets of the tricuspid valve. So we can see the anterior and septal leaflets on view to be able to cross at the appropriate site that we intend to. 3D TE is also used, and here you can see a, an image that shows the clip being steered onto the anteroceptal commissure. After the ideal position is achieved, then the clip is advanced into the RB, just as, as if you were doing a tricuspid mitral clip. 
and then retracted to grasp the tricuspid leaflets. Again, multiple 2D T and 3D T views are used to steer the clip towards the tricuspid valve and the intended commissure that you're treating. In this case, we grasp uh, anterior and septal leaflets. Uh, and this is an uh, image, TE image, and this 3D to confirm the position. After we achieve the desired location, we close the clip and significant reduction of the tricuspid valve was seen, as you can see here in this uh, color compare view. Here is a transgastric view showing the clip in the anteroseptal commissure and significant reduction of the tricuspid valve regurgitation to mild to moderate. The clip was released and we completed the case. Here is the hemodynamic assessment during the case. This is baseline LA pressure, which shows a B wave up to 38 millimeters of mercury. That went down to 20 after two mitral clips. Unfortunately, the record, um, the picture of the baseline area pressure is not available. The recorded pressure was 20 millimeters of mercury and posterior cuspid clip, the mean was six. So significant reductions in pressure um, after the mitral and tricuspid valve repairs with the mitral clip. She was discharged on day two, and this is uh, images of her 30-day transthoracic echo, which shows an ejection fraction of 35%, which was stable compared to baseline, and mild residual mitral regurgitation with a stable clip, and mild tricuspid valve regurgitation with a stable clip in the interoceptive commissure, as it can be appreciated here. On the day follow-up, she had no symptoms, had only trace bilateral lower extremity edema, but it was continued on medical therapy, including diuretics. At six months follow-up, she hadn't changed symptoms and still doing well. So to wrap up the case, this is a question. Uh, which of this, these statements about transcatheter treatment for tricuspid valve regurgitation is correct? A, it remains off-label and investigational at this point. B, it effectively reduces tricuspid valve regurgitation in carefully selected patients. C, it is associated with improvements in symptoms and quality of life when successful. D, multiple transcatheter devices for tricuspid valve repair and replacement are currently being evaluated in feasibility and early clinical trials, and E, all of the above. So the correct answer is E, all of the above were correct. So dedicated therapies, transcatheter therapies for tricuspid valve regurgitation remain investigational at this time. However, the, the off-label use of devices to treat tricuspid valve regurgitation is becoming more frequent in the current practice, mainly with the mitral clip, the edge-to-edge -edge repair. Both investigational devices and off-label cases with the mitral clip have demonstrated improvement in symptoms and quality of life when it's performed in appropriately selected cases. And finally, multiple transcatheter devices for tricuspid valve repair and replacement are currently being developed and evaluated in feasibility trials and early clinical trials at this point. So the main learning goal of this talk was to become familiar with the upcoming transcatheter therapies for tricuspid valve regurgitation. Thank you for your attention.